Hi folks, Andy S here again at Blair Baddock. Behind me here is the official start of the River Forth. And on today's Blair Baddock Bikes, we're going to go on a bit of a journey. I'm going to discover where the River Forth goes from here in Aberfoyle, its source, all the way across to Edinburgh at its mouth at the Firth of Forth. That's what's going to be on today's Blair Baddock Bikes. Every story, like every river, has a source. Now Lockard is the start of the River Forth. The River Forth flows for 29 miles from the Trossachs through Stirling and right down the Forth Valley before widening out into an estuary at Kincardine and then on to Edinburgh and the sea. The whole process of the water getting its way into the River Forth starts here, high up in the mountains. The water runs down small streams called tributaries which flow into the main river itself. As the tributaries flow down through the side of Ben Lomond and the surrounding hills, the water then winds its way down through the landscape and across the flatlands of Stirlingshire. The river flows in a west to east direction and along its way it passes some of Scotland's most interesting historical landmarks. One of which is Flanders Moss, which is one of the biggest areas of bogland in the whole of Great Britain and home to a variety of different species of wildlife. There's literally hundreds of wildlife species that lives along the banks of the River Forth. If you're lucky, you might catch a glimpse of a kingfisher, maybe even an otter. The swans are quite common along the riverbanks, but one of the things that's really difficult to see and makes its journey every year is the salmon. And if you're really lucky at the waterfalls, you might even see one leaping. As the river continues its journey eastwards, it gets to Stirling and it flows underneath the famous Stirling Bridge, which in 1297 saw the forces of William Wallace against the English armies during the First War of Scottish Independence. Stirling used to have a very busy harbour and during World War II, it was an important port for the import of tea. As the river continues eastwards, it eventually goes through the Kincardine estuary. And here, it starts to flow underneath some of the most famous bridges in Scotland. The Clackmannanshire Bridge, the Forth Road Bridge, the Queen's Ferry Crossing, and probably the most famous and most photographed bridge of all in Scotland, the Forth Rail Bridge. And it's at this point, the river gets to the end of its 47 kilometre journey. All the way from here in Aberfoyle, at Lockhart, all the way to the Firth of Forth, where it finally meets its end and flows into the North Sea. If you've enjoyed this video about the River Forth, remember to check out the Blair Bite work card that accompanies it, and remember to check out the Twitter feeds, Instagram feeds, and all the other social platforms for more information and fascinating facts about the River Forth. Keep your eyes open for more videos coming out from the rest of the team in the near future. Thanks for watching.